Well, today is Juneteenth and we are recognizing the holiday. What better way to celebrate than with food? Absolutely. We are joined by Lenny Rosenberg and his wife, Adeze, the owners of the iconic Bees Bakery in Tarzana with a Nigerian <laughs> dessert recipe in honor of Juneteenth. This Welcome. is so exciting, yes. you guys. We've been eyeing these cupcakes <laughs> yes. for so long. and. First of all, just tell us the significance because these are red velvet cupcakes. Tell us the significance. Red velvet cola nut cupcakes. So it comes with a twist. Happy Juneteenth to all. Juneteenth is a celebration of emancipation, but we've added ground cola nuts because cola nuts is a Nigerian tradition that we utilize for ceremonial reasons, spiritual reasons, and something called knocking of the door, which is koku ako. So you have to, the mail will knock on the door of the Igbo man's, the Igbo father's door to ask for the bride's hand in marriage. So we grounded it into our cupcakes. Which I know personally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got stories. You have to learn all about it. Oh boy. <laughs> but the significance is with the red velvet, it's also, uh, it symbolizes Juneteenth. Celebration, the fight that they had to go through to become free. So anytime you see red, it's it symbolizes like, hey, we did it, blood shed, unfortunately, but now we're here to celebrate. Okay, Amazing. and so tell us a little bit more about what we're making and how we do it. Walk us through these steps. We're, we're making a red velvet cola nut cupcake we created in Bee's Bakery. And I've already put in the first stage of the ingredients, which is the flour, sugar, baking soda, salt, cocoa powder, and of course the cola nut. Powder, okay. Which we and grind can you it. actually taste the difference with the cola nut? Is that like a distinctive taste you can recognize, or is it just kind of? It's very distinct. It so is. if you eat it as is, usually this is um, consumed during prayer, and they just eat it as is. You will get bit. You it's bitter, so you're going to be like, but you're getting blessings. But the good part is when you add it to the red velvet, it's sweet, it's delicious. So you There's guys, enough are, sugar, okay, enough sugar. Right. You got it. But it feels like we're going to be eating something so so meaningful and special that's that's baked with Absolutely. such intention, right? Absolutely. Okay, so, so tell us what to do. The first step is you're going to pour in the eggs. I'll let you. Okay. Okay. Fun. Next is the buttermilk. Marcy, you want to do the buttermilk? Sure. It's so good to have people doing it for me. For yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the hard part nice though, the measuring and instructions all that. Like Next that? is the vegetable oil. Okay. And now we're going to bring down the mixer, lock it, and we're going to start mixing. It smells amazing, by the way. And while it's going on, I'm going to set up the red food coloring and the vanilla. What we do is we put in one tablespoon. I'm getting pretty excited. Any particular kind of food coloring? Does, is there a brand you like? Is nothing particular. No? Red, okay. Food coloring is pretty standard. There's nothing okay. better or worse than, it, than any of them. I've um, used ones that didn't work great, but I think they've been sitting in my pantry too long. Yeah, so, well, yeah. if they're sitting too long, that, that can yeah. do it. Next is the vanilla. I want to see Marcy test that out, too. Let me see your, your, your vanilla yeah. okay. oh, skill. All right, all right. Okay. You guys have, you have a go. show coming up. And, Got and it. you guys have a show coming out. Tell yes, us about that. Yes, we do. That. It's called It's a Sweet World, mm -hmm. and it's a baking show, but more than a baking show, it's a cultural baking show. It's very unique. We have customers come in from different cultures, and we suit their needs with a specific baking item. And Adeze, of course, makes a design installation because she's an interior decorator. That's right, oh, that's right. So we, which we've incorporated into the show. Dynamic duo, definitely want awesome. to keep the authentic, authenticity going. So we go ahead and just design the dessert according to that culture. And in LA, it's so important, you know, because we are such a melting pot of different cultures and it's so fun to explore. I mean, that's why we love living here. Yeah. Absolutely. Even this explanation, like I learned so much about Juneteenth that I didn't know before. And you baking. can also substitute tiger nuts for the cola nut just in case. Okay. It goes back from Egypt, Madagascar, Africa, and this is a great aphrodisiac. That's a sweeter nut, sweeter nut like Lenny said, aphrodisiac. And if you have some, need some digestion support, Tiger Nut is it. So you have the best of both worlds. Okay. Cola Nut, Tyler. Do you have Perfect. to go to a specialty store to get these kinds of nuts? You sure do, Absolutely. girl. <laughs> yeah. okay. Head on down to the Nigerian bodega, okay. and you ask them for cola nuts. They look you in the eye and they say, come on down. They take you to the aisle to get the cola nuts. Okay, okay. perfect. Um, so, so last step is I'm going to show you is dishing out the product. Okay, and we're running a little tight on time. Okay. So it, I'm going to show you old school 
how to do it. Oh, I oh, love it. it. Okay. okay. Or you can do it with a scoop if one of you want to grab a scoop. I like this so much better. Yeah, <laughs> that's so much worse. I don't have a glove on. Um, so. And then can we try them? We'll yeah, we got them right here. Tight on time. And, and, so by, and by the and way, we also made gluten-free red velvet oh, culinary great. cupcakes. Oh, producer Phil. Because <laughs> we'll that's a very one. big, you know, going concern today is about eating gluten-free items because a lot of people have celiac disease. Right. Or just have problems with, you know, stomach issues. So we make a whole line of gluten-free products at the store, at Bee's Bakery. We make rye bread, ruggolo. Uh, Humintosh and cookies, all different stuff. And of course, the red velvet cupcake. Well, we're getting wrapped by our producer, so we have to go. I'm going to try this cookie at the last minute. <laughs> last minute. Thank it's you so delicious. much for sharing your culture. Yeah, um, yes. thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.